Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh. Tiffany, Chris, we're at the Roosevelt Hotel. It's exactly 3 a.m., which is actually 6 a.m. for me. So it's pretty late. I'm tired. It's a nice place, though. We're going to be respectful. Might be whispering a lot in this video. There's a lot of hauntings here. I'm going to share those with you in a second. Let's go. Now, one of the security guards here has been giving us a tour of the place sharing some of the history here, which is amazing. Big shout out to the staff here. I kind of lost Tiffany and Crystal. There's the main entrance. You can see some of the stars out there and they're washing them, which is cool. I think Vin Diesel's star is right out there. So we are going into the Marilyn Monroe suite right now. My friend Chris caught something here. This is it right here. Whoa, this is gorgeous. Does this overlook the haunted pool? Yeah. Look at that. I call that the blue Cheeto pool. What we've been told is children can be seen out here around this time. Now I spoke with some someone earlier that was sitting over there and started kind of nodding off. And when they woke up, they seen a little girl and they even had to check the security footage because they really thought there was a little girl out here. Now one thing that I can confirm is that there was a man that drowned here, a very young man. He was drunk. He kept going in the pool in the middle of the night, which is not allowed. Security told him, you know, hey, you're not allowed to do that. He snuck back in here. He ended up drowning in the pool and they were pulling him out. They tried doing CPR, but he'd been down in the pool so long that his lungs filled up with so much water. But yeah, that happened about 10 years ago. Now, oftentimes some hotels will, especially here in Hollywood, they'll name different rooms or have themes. Oh, this is beautiful. Based off of, you know, certain stars. But no, this is different. This actual room was a room where Marilyn Monroe lived. She lived here from what I was told or spent a great deal of time in this room. So they dedicated this room to her. I mean, it was, probably decorated a little bit different. It's definitely more updated. It's beautiful. This is cool. It's a very strange shower. It's, it's just, wow, I've never seen a shower with just drywall. I have to ask, is this a real TV? It's a mirror. Oh, it's a mirror. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was like a TV, like wake up. Like, this is how we should probably start hanging our TVs. No one would get out of bed. Oh, that's, that's the true. point. You could just chill <laughs> and look up. And that's there's... the point. Never get out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> is this where a bed has always been? No, I'm 100% sure that I would be... But look at the picture of her in the bed. Yeah. Oh, I wait. That's... Like that is a picture of her. Looks very familiar. Like this area. Looks like this here. It's definitely different. I love this material on the wall. There's another picture of her. It's got a little kitchen. Some, uh, what's it called? The patron? So I was standing right here. We didn't actually get to go into the Marilyn Monroe suite because I don't think so. I think someone was staying in there. I was holding my camera like this, and it was pitch dark back there, with just a faint little bit of light. Nobody was back there, and it was literally inside of here. It was not on the outside, it was on the inside, and you can tell that it was on the inside. And you caught something, like a shadow or something? And it just kind of floated right behind me, and it just went from here to there, and it looked like a dainty little black shadow figure, like oh. a little dainty woman. Yep, you Ma guys Maybe it was Marilyn Monroe's shadow. That's Or a ghost. That's kind of what everybody was thinking. trying to figure out what this hallway is all about. It's like an art exhibit slash like Omar so confused. It's so trippy. It's so artistic though. It makes me feel like I'm going into a mental asylum. Yeah kind of you know when kind they're of. you know when they're all white and 
You know what I kind of feel like? A, like a cartoon. Like it's... Yeah, a bit of a comic? Uh, yeah. I think this was some form of an art Here's where we have the stars, Louis Gossett Jr., Chris Angel, Woody Woodpecker has a star, he deserves one for sure, Vanna White, check this one out too, it's one of my favorites, Chuck Norris, Joan Rivers, rest in peace, David Spade, that's my homie right there. This is Hollywood Boulevard, this is usually congested, tons of people, you can't find any parking, it's late. Not even three weeks old. This mural right here? Yeah. What? It's Look really at that. Nice. It's also the 60th anniversary of the Walk of Fame. Is it really? Yes, I think. Uh, yeah, 60th anniversary of Walk of Fame. Hey, check it out. If you guys want to scan that right there. I don't do this a whole lot, but please go on TripAdvisor, maybe even Google, and shoot them a really awesome review here because I have been to some hotels that were pretty uh, rude. And they're not rude here. They're amazing. Specifically for Bill. Yes. Bill. He's a supervisor. Yes. And he's amazing. Request Shared a lot Bill. of history here with us. He will tell you amazing stories about this place. Academy Award was held here in 1929, which makes this a historical landmark. They also say this room's a haunted, quote, haunted room. I'm not trying to tell you this is a haunted room. I'm just telling you what they say. Mm -hmm. People come to Hollywood, become famous actors. Some of them, they don't become, they don't become that, like, they don't get recognized as the actors they're looking to be. Mm -hmm. So if you walk around the room, you take different temperature, different, you'll feel different temperature differences in the room. You're supposed to take a picture in front of that temperature difference. Mm. And if you catch an orb, in that picture, supposedly you caught somebody waiting for their name to be recognized. Ooh, that sounds crazy. That's the haunting of this room. Some people say that there's a uh, guy in a three piece suit up there playing the piano when they hit a piano. A waste. I've heard various stories Babe, of that. Do you remember when you felt like it felt like hair? Yeah. Like, and they say that sometimes That's it's a spirit like, like messing with you? Like I felt like there was hair on my ear. Right now? Yeah. I get no, I'm serious. <gasps> Stand right here. There's a cold spot right there. I can't tell because I'm wearing pants. Wait. <gasps> you my see? Whole right leg is right, freezing. Right there. It's there's like I, some little wait. cold spot, just like you said. And what does that mean again? If you feel like different. There it goes again. Wait, guys, we're getting a lot of like active. I feel like hair on my face. Yeah, take pictures. Um, Babe, do I got a hair on my neck or something? Yeah. Can you please right look? Now, look on my neck, because it feels like I have hair no, like. No, you don't have hair on your neck. I'm telling you that this is, is like tickling your ear. Like, no click big. I felt first hair on this ear. And then I felt it on I felt it on my neck and then I've never felt anything and then I even felt it kind of go on my face like it's almost like <sighs> only way I could describe it is hair. I'm trying to feel for these cold spots. I only felt it once and it was over there by where Chris is standing right now. Right here, it's a little cooler. I don't know if it has something to do with the ventilation. If you ever come here to the Hotel Roosevelt, try to see if they would let you come and check out this room. Love the way it looks in here. That's not daylight, by the way. That's just, that's just lighting. 
So the very first Academy Award, no, I'm sorry, Oscars, was here at the Hotel Roosevelt. We don't know exactly. We believe that the stage was right over there. That was in 1929. Just to give you an idea, how old is the Hotel Roosevelt? 1927. Okay, so it was only two years old. It was a fairly new structure. And they were like, hey, this place looks cool. It's in Hollywood, Hollywood Land. Is Wait, was the Hollywood Land signed already up there? Do you know? I know the Chinese Theater, the Egyptian Theater, were built in 1927. Okay. Chris, do you know when the Hollywood sign was? What's that? Do you know when the Hollywood sign was posted? Um, no, I don't. A lot of people don't know this, but it originally said Hollywood Land. Yeah. And they took the land off and just kept it Hollywood. Was it like in the 1920s? I don't know, but there is a woman that haunts the Hollywood sign for almost the same reason that we were told. You know, she was waiting for her time to get... 1923. 1923. Okay. So it's 1923. It's Just looked it up. But yeah, there's a woman that haunts the Hollywood sign yeah. for that reason too. Yeah, she, she... Didn't she commit suicide or something? Yeah, she jumped off one of the... She was an actress that wasn't getting the attention that she wanted and she became... Think about how many people come to California. Didn't she win a Grammy though after she died? After that, she won a Grammy. After she passed away, after she passed away, she got she got the recognition she was looking for. After she died, a lot of people want to know the Hollywood sign is haunted. I mean, a lot of people don't make it up there. It's quite a hike. Have you been up there? Yeah. Yeah. And how long did it take you to hike up there? I depends which route you take. Yeah. Okay. It took me like two hours. You've yeah, been up there? Yeah, yeah. there's a quarter round or it depends which route you take. Yeah, mm. We've only seen it from a distance. And that hike was, that had me on my ass all day. There's like inclines like that. Chris just heard something. What did you hear? like round door right there move and then I heard a knock again but I don't think anyone's back here. Are there any cleaners back there? No one's back here. I, I think it's not. Yeah. Not. <laughs> There's so much history here and I mean so many things that have been filmed here. The movie Taken was filmed right here and also Eminem performed right here in the middle of this this area. I'm not sure exactly what this is called here. Also, Shirley Temple danced on those stairs in a movie called Little Colonel and they actually nicknamed those stairs the Shirley Temple stairs. I'll give you a closer look in a minute. And you said you found a, a man deceased here? Yeah, he passed away and I'm right over there on this. Right, you just... Poor guy. So this is one of the movies that won an award here, you know, for the, I keep saying, is it a Academy Awards or Oscars? Oscars. Oscars. Now we're going to a hidden, I think Oscars. very is hidden room. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, it's probably meant to do that. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was trying to get her to jump. Wow, it didn't work. This is cool though. That would be the answer to my video. Wow. This theater is haunted too. What are some of the stories that yeah, people right? have it's reported? Yeah, like right? a bunch of stories here, you know? I didn't realize it was a speed. So there's the theater. Yeah, right? that's, what she, that's said. what she said. <laughs> well, the hotel was built in 1927. The original, this is the original Cine Grill. With a sign that's on the outside of the hotel says Cine Grill. See, now that has faded out. And the original name to the Cine Grill was this theater. Of course, it didn't look like this, but it was, this was the Cine Grill. This is something that they used to do here. They would actually have oh God, like the crazy little people things. hanging from these, uh, is it like a conveyor? That's and so they'd come down, deliver your drink, and then have a drink with you. But then they would oftentimes find these little guys passed out places, and it was pretty funny. And I think that's my favorite story. That is, that is a <laughs> really so good story. Fun. We had mini Britney Spears. Mini Britney mini Spears. Britney Spears. And like Oompa Loompas, they were all like different themes. So we're on the most haunted floor. And it's a funny story the way it happened. 
we were originally on the seventh floor. At first we asked them, like, hey, can you give us a haunted room? They're like, dude, all the rooms are haunted here. We didn't know that the ninth floor, though, took the cake when it came to hauntings. We lost power on the seventh floor, we went to, well, these pretty ladies went and complained downstairs. <laughs> and they were like, hey, we're gonna upgrade you to a suite and we're gonna put you on the most haunted floor. We're staying in that room. Cliff Montgomery stayed in that room, the trumpet player. His ghost can be seen as always. And people have reported hearing his trumpet play. That is sick. What? Why is Seriously? the bed messed up though? Are you sitting on it? No, nobody's been in here. What the frick? It looks like somebody was sitting on it. Oh, why is the... And look, the lights are on behind you. We did not turn this light on. Has somebody been in here? We have not. We've literally... When we first walked in, the, everything was dark, but the bathroom light was on, and yeah. it was so creepy. Like it looked like somebody oh, look just sat bed. down, yeah. Who would have sat down on the bed? Look at that. That's like a, a butt print right there. What the hell? <gasps> Honestly? Look, even the pillow was like leaned on. Yeah, but no, we were not in here. Uh, like, we just peeked our heads in. Yeah, we have not been in this room. Well, when I came in here, I came into the living room to set my drone down and grab some batteries. But anyways, this is our suite. This is a lot bigger than the room we had on the seventh Did floor. Did you just make noise? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's getting all freaking out. I'm freaking out about that bed. Is there, there any patron? <laughs> you know, Bill didn't even know what that was. Hey, look, patron, right there. There's the patron. Maker's mark. Marker's mark. All this stuff is free. You know why? Because Chris Star is famous. It's definitely not free. That bottle right there is like this big. It's like a hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? No. The little bottle of it here patron. probably is. That's what I'm saying. The little bottle of Patron is probably like Patron. <laughs> I like the liquor store. It's probably like $30, $35. Here it's probably double. I really don't drink the Patron in the Hollywood Roosevelt unless you want to. Don't drink the Patron at 3 a.m. You didn't get that on camera. <laughs> yeah, I did. He's totally keeping it in there. <laughs> I'm really wondering about this bed. Like, we have to sleep in there, and apparently somebody's already sleeping on it. <laughs> we'll just have to invite the ghost to look, sleep with us. Or tell them to get lost. Doesn't it look like there's a little, like, a little dark spot on the floor? Ooh, it does. Maybe somebody in the middle of the night couldn't make it to the bathroom. Look, look how Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz is literally strategically placed right over that bed. What was her name again? Um... Gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm gonna have to Google it. Oh my oh, god. I'm gonna feel really dumb after you look that up. Oh, no. Judy Garland. Judy yes, Garland. Yes. Check this out. We have a really good view of the Roosevelt Hotel sign. It's right up there. Check that out. Hey, so one day down there where all those stars are is gonna be a Chris star. I want an I want an Omar star. People really have to earn those stars, though. Well, my my name is Star, so I think I earned one. You you, you did. I did. I literally Liza Minnelli. Liza Minnelli. You didn't know that. I did not know. You that. did not know that. I I knew that. I just couldn't say her name. Oh we God. literally just walked by her star up there. I think. Liza Minnelli. Yeah. Is she still alive? Yeah. I think she's still alive. Garland. Yeah, she had kind of really tragic life. It was sad. She um, it just Hollywood changed her, and that's the thing. Hollywood changes a lot of people. Hollywood's a really dark place, and a lot of that darkness resides here. The amount of suicides, the amount of just natural I think it's deaths. just the scene, period. The scene just the takes you in. People that have come and gone, you know, celebrities from Marilyn Monroe's time. It's crazy to think about all the people that have been here, all the energy that's like passed through, you know? So much. Our fam, so we're gonna try to connect with whatever spirit is here, maybe it's the spirit that's across the hallway, or the one that we may have missed that came to visit our room while we were gone that sat on the bed. I didn't sit on the bed, neither of us did. Like, we don't know what that what that was, so. I am using an app that we all have used before. There's a link down below in the description if you wanna use it. I believe Chris has some links to it too. What do you wanna ask? So I want to ask, uh, was anyone in this room while we were downstairs? It's a good question. Blake. <coughs> Why did it sound like somebody was just walking over there as soon as that went on? <coughs> in room. Do you, do you hear that? Like rustling over there or just me? 
Tiffany is not happy. She's like kind of freaking out over here. <laughs> Who sat down on the bed? Can you tell us your name? John? That's right. Something feels off about this room. Did something happen here? Hmm. Scream. I heard something about I scream. I heard something about scream as well. Was did somebody get hurt here? What's the story about the man that plays the trumpet? That's a good question. People hear him playing the trumpet. Do you think we'll hear him tonight? Come close. Come close? Yes, I come close. Cliff Montgomery, are you still here in the Hollywood Roosevelt? Cliff Montgomery? Thomas. Are there any celebrities here with us? You know they come visit their stars. That's me. I heard I am dead. Broken up. I am dead. You know what celebrity star I've always wanted to go and visit and well I did visit it but like I wanted to do a spare box over their star hmm. Robin Williams oh my god yeah and he's right in front of I believe the Chinese theater hmm. yeah he is yeah. may he rest in peace that was one of my favorite actors yeah still is. is does Paul Walker have a star I don't know he's I do <gasps> <gasps> well Vin Diesel has a star mm -hmm. yeah. and it's right outside the road though are we communicating with anybody that passed away in the Roosevelt? I did. Can you tell me your name? You know what's crazy? Hmm. The Fast Nine cast were here just a week ago. Yeah. From what we just heard. It's, he does. It's located at the intersection of Hollywood Boulevard and Highland Avenue. So it is. It yeah. is here. We know quite a few people passed away here in the Roosevelt. Is there anyone that passed away here with us? I think that so many people have passed away here. Uh, there were two children that tragically drowned in the pool. Uh, about a 25-year-old man that also drowned in the pool. That was like just 10 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah a couple suicides. The and children were in the 50s, from what we heard. Yes. The older man, 25 year old, was in, uh, that was about 10 years ago, and then a couple suicides, well, more than a couple suicides from what we found out, and um, a few people from natural. Causes. There was a fire here, too. Oh, Where yeah. 22 people died. Yeah, 22 people died in a tragic fire here. There's nice. so much history here. Like, There's so much history and just so much energy that has passed in and out of this location. It's just buzzing with energy. It's so crazy. Like when you walk in, you feel it, you know? I never felt what I felt before in that room with the blue ceiling. Like that was strange. Like it was like, it just felt like hair was all over my, like my yeah. ear. It started out on my left ear hmm. and then it like, it kind of was on my neck. And you know how, I mean, you guys have hair obviously, but yeah. if you don't have hair like me and you feel like these long pieces of hair, it's annoying. And you're like, ugh, get away from me. Web. Right? Like a it's web. like a web, yeah. right? And that's what I felt. And then when I started acknowledging it, I felt it on this ear, felt it on my face, like right here. Mm -hmm. That's when I really like knew something was really strange because, like, I kept doing this and well, like really, there was no hair on me. Yeah, it's like static electricity is like what you're feeling, right. you know, from the energy that is coming in contact with you. And have I, you felt that before too? I have. Yeah, yeah. yeah it feels like uh, it's almost like a weird like tingly spider webby sensation like spider web it's that's yeah exactly what it was like all right fam so a little bit of a correction because we did some research as we were talking about it that hotel fire happened in another hotel in my home state of florida 
1920s. I don't even know there's another Hotel Roosevelt, but that happened in Florida, and we should go visit that hotel one day. A couple of tragedies have happened here, but that fire thing happened in Florida. Lately. You know what I like about that dead wave is the responses take a little bit longer. So if you want it to be quicker, you can put more channels, but I just put just one channel. So I mean, and then you could have, if you want them a little faster, you could do two of them. Yeah, you know? I do like that. I, I just throw one up there, because it takes a little bit. Bro, it's, it looked like somebody was walking through the hallway right now. She's been hearing stuff, and when y'all were doing that, I was hearing stuff. So, I stopped my camera, of course, but I kept hearing rustling in the hallway, and Omar was like, it sounds like somebody is walking. And like I said, no, 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 no. I saw what looked oh like God. a shadow of somebody walking in the hallway. And you know Bill says he sees shadow stuff all the time? I saw it, like, right here. Like it kind of looked, it was yes. just like a shadow of something. Well, what's weird is when we got in here originally, that bathroom light was on and the door was closed and it looked like somebody was in the bathroom. Wow. Did this bed move? Like, did it change shape or is it still the same? I think it's still the same. Okay. Yeah, but it's just weird how there's this, it looks like somebody was. Yeah, that sad. looks like a butt print. And even the, and the, the top pillow. Something. It's like it did too. Right here? Yeah. yeah. But if you step back, like when I was looking in, it looks like there's a little dark spot on the carpet. Like right there where it's. I can't see it right there. Oh, Wait, actually, see yeah, you see, see it. Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? That's like stain or something. If somebody's probably supposed to coffee here. I know it's just weird that it's right there. Yeah. Maybe. It's a, it's a demon stain. There's a mirror there and it just. Like, it just freaked you out. Hang. There it is, Hotel Roosevelt. You've been asking me to come here for a very, very long time. So glad Chris got to join in the fun. And of course, Tiffany. Can't forget my homeboy, Bill, for showing us around. I usually don't ask for favors, okay? But this would mean a lot to me if you went on TripAdvisor and just showed them so much love for being so hospitable here to us and giving us a room upgrade. They didn't even know that I made YouTube videos or that Chris made YouTube videos it had nothing to do with that. It was mainly because they messed up or maybe they'll, I mean, it's an old building. Maybe a fuse went out and they upgraded our room. Our original room was probably like it was this so size. Small. It was so small. And Bill, what a nice guy. Met us on the fly and he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll share some of the history with you. Also mention him in the review on how awesome he is there's a reason why he's been working here a really long time. It's because he's awesome, just like you. Make sure to check out my friend Chris Starr. Links will be down below in the description, as well as the app that we were using a little bit earlier. Gotta go for now before we leave, give me kids.